Alright, so the objective of this video is to show how we can uh, do a workaround, and it's definitely a workaround, to add the room boundaries to a ceiling plan for whatever purpose it might be, to delineate the rooms for one reason, for your construction documents it might be, to, uh, for code plan reasons, something like that. So the first step is to create a project parameter for the rooms. So to do so, I'm going to go to the Manage tab, Project Parameters. We'll add a project parameter. We're going to call it Ceiling Type. And, and the idea behind this particular example is that uh, each room will have kind of a ceiling type. Therefore, we can assign a different line weight or pattern or whatever. You'll see the reason why later. But we're going to get create a ceiling uh, a parameter called ceiling type. It's going to be a text type parameter. And then we will apply this to rooms. Click OK. Click OK here. The next step is then to actually assign that to each room. So in order to select the rooms and make my life a little bit easier, let me do this. Turn on visibility graphics overrides. And just so it's easier for me to get to them, make sure that the architecture overarching filter list is on. We'll do this. So that makes it just easier for me to select the room, get to its parameter values, and then you know, the ceiling type, in this case, we'll call this one A. Okay. And this one we'll call, let's see, we'll call it B. Okay. This one we'll call C. And this one, in this case, you notice that there's two different ceilings, and this is one of the reasons why I'm showing this way for a particular scenario where uh, someone might want to have a either a code plan or a, um, a ceiling plan with all the rooms delineated. So you couldn't just turn on the ceiling um, uh, or change the ceiling properties and build visibility graphics overrides. You'd, you'd actually need... Uh, because then you'd have interior joints essentially being bolded or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and call this B as well. And we'll just share the same type as the other ones. The idea is that even though we have multiple ceilings in this room, it'll be delineated with one singular boundary line. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, uh, a filter based off each ceiling uh, type value. So I'm going to go to the View tab. And then under filters, I'll create a new filter and I'll call it type A just to keep it nice and uh, brief. Obviously, if you've got a lot of filters, you may want to be more specific than this. And then uh, type A is going to search across rooms. And then uh, it will be based off of the parameter um, ceiling type. And ceiling type will equal, in this case, A. Hit apply duplicate that one. We'll rename it. Call type B. Get my caps lock on here and that'll be equal to B. And then duplicate it one more time. Rename it and call it type C. And that will be equal to C. Okay, so hopefully everybody is right and then we'll hit apply and hit OK. And we'll click OK here in the filter. So the filter has been created. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a uh, duplicate view based off this one. So we'll duplicate the ceiling plan view, duplicate it, and duplicate it with detailing here. We'll rename it and call it level one it, um, export. That's its purpose in a, uh, for its, its existence is to be basically an export view. And in this view, we're going to turn off all categories. And you could, of course, use a view template. And if you've got several views, that's the recommended course of action is go ahead and create a view template. We'll just uh, use VG overrides to demonstrate this for one particular view. But I'm going to basically select all the uh, categories, make sure that you know, all your filters are on. Again, select all of them, turn them off, say none, and then Browse on down to rooms, because we want the rooms on for this particular view. And uh, I think.
think we can pretty much leave all the subcategories on. Hit apply and hit OK. Oh, and before I move on here, again, visibility graphics. I typed in VG at the keyboard, but you can also go right here, same place, or it gets you to the same dialog. And then under annotation categories, make sure that that is turned off. The next step would be to go back into visibility graphics overrides and then make sure that uh, your filters have been applied. So I'm going to click on add, add type A, type B, type C, and then here you go ahead and apply the override. So let's just change the lines and the patterns. I'll click on override here, go ahead and make this line weight 5, and change the pattern to something else. And type B, let's uh, do uh, just a different line weight, and we'll make the uh, We'll do uh, solid. It'd be basic, no override essentially. And then type C. Again, I'm just kind of making this up as I go along. We'll make it nine, be nice and thick. And then the pattern will be something else. We'll do dash dot and click OK and click apply. So now we've got the view, the export view, essentially set up to be exported to CAD idea being that when we export this to CAD we can then import it back into Revit so that way we can have these boundary lines applied to our normal ceiling plan view so uh, to do so go to your um, uh, Revit application menu export and then CAD formats DWG and you may want to make sure that in your export setup that uh, your general uh, under your general tab, the export room spaces and areas of polylines is turned on. And also under units and coordinates, if, and this is up to you, but if you are working on a multidiscipline project and you want this to come right in where it needs to be, like your other project files or your other CAD drawings because you're, you've got a shared coordinate system set up, you'll want to make sure that that's turned on. We'll leave it on project internal for now uh, and then click OK and then basically hit next and save this to wherever it needs to go so we're just going to call it example project project and uh, ceiling ceiling types and click OK to save yourself a little bit of hassle down the road make sure and open that up in CAD because uh, you'll open this up and then we'll zoom extents and you may find that you know when you initially go in the layer is turned off so just make sure that's turned on and so that's better and then uh, queue save it and then go ahead and let's close out of it okay so back in Revit we don't necessarily have to go through that step uh, we could turn those uh, layers essentially back on through visibility graphics later, but I'm going to go back to my ceiling plan. And now I'd like to get those boundary lines in here. So what I'll do is I'll click on the Insert tab, and then when I click on the Insert tab, I'll go ahead and link in the CAD file. I'm going to select the project for, or let's see, example project right there. I'm going to make sure that current view only is on. That's going to work better for you when it actually is uh, laid over. And then we'll use the auto origin to origin. That may be different, again, based on what we talked about earlier about the coordinates. And then for colors, either preserve or do black and white. You may want to do black and white if it's for construction documents. And uh, essentially bring that into this current view. Okay. Now initially it may not be visible, but if you go ahead and do a filter selection here, and we'll just check none, bring that up, hit apply, and then once I do, I'll go ahead and put that on the foreground, and then you can see these line types, and obviously I made this one a lot thicker than the other ones, but the other ones are visible as well. Now just to kind of resume, I made this video with someone specific in mind, kind of a support case that I was helping out with, but just so you understand, uh, you know, and the question naturally is, well, why didn't you just go ahead and change the room uh, boundaries themselves? And the reason simply is that rooms don't print in Revit. So if you're going to use these, 
or if you're going to essentially you want your room boundaries to show up as different uh, line types or whatever around the edges you can accomplish that but the problem as you, you saw here in the export view but the problem is is that this doesn't print it's like for example if I go ahead and do a control P here to print this view and then you know you go through your setup you look at everything is basically on and then do a preview and there's nothing there and that's because just rooms won't print so uh, this is essentially the workaround to uh, get this information to print because the CAD file will uh, print as you can see here